In this video, we will show you how to replace your front ABS sensor on this Chevy Tahoe. This will be located behind your front wheel. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing that you wanna do is be in an area that you can safely raise and support the front of the vehicle. Once you have that wheel off the ground, continue on to removing all six of your lug nut covers and the lug nuts located behind them. We'll use a 22 millimeter socket. Now that we have the wheel off of there, we're going to start removing the caliper from the area. To do this, the first thing I like to do is use a small pry bar and come right inside this area of the caliper. Try to press the caliper away from the brake pad. We just want to get a little bit of movement here. Now we can start removing our caliper sliders. You'll find that you have two 18 millimeter sliders holding this in place. Remove the pair. Now that I have this one loose, I'll keep it in here. We'll continue up to the top. Remove your slider pins. Let's continue on with that small pry bar and gently pull the caliper out of place. Give your caliper a quick inspection. Make sure you do not see any brake fluid in this area. If you do, you have to replace the caliper. We'll set this aside, putting no pressure on the flex hose. Now we can remove our brake pads. We'll give those a quick inspection. Make sure it doesn't look like they're damaged or worn. Set those aside. Now we can continue on to removing our two 18 millimeter caliper bracket bolts. This one's loose, we'll leave it in. Remove your bracket. Now we can remove our brake rotor. Now that we have that rotor out of the way, we have a clear view of where our ABS sensor is located, directly mounted to the wheel bearing. To remove the sensor, we're going to use a 3 16 Allen head socket. Remove the bolt, give it a quick inspection, you will be reusing it. The next thing we'll do is continue on with a flat blade screwdriver. Carefully get underneath this area and try to separate it. Wiggle it. There we are. Now that we have that separated, follow the ABS wire up to its mounting bracket on top of the knuckle. We'll gently pry this out of place. Now that you've done that, you can go ahead and give this a little wiggle. We'll start lifting the ABS sensor up and out of the wheel bearing and pull it out through the backside of the backing plate. Just give it a little wiggle. Now we can follow this all the way up to the rest of its mounting points and disconnect it. Let's separate this with a small flat blade screwdriver. Come right in this area, gently pry it apart. Make our way up here. Now we can follow that up to our electrical connector. For this, we're going to use a long blade screwdriver. Just go ahead and slide this out of place. Up along the top is where you'll find the lock. Just lift that up a little bit and separate this. Give the wiring a quick check for corrosion. Remove your ABS sensor. And there it is, friends. Now that we have the ABS sensor out of there, 
Let's go ahead and clean the mounting point on the wheel bearing. We'll just wipe this down, remove any of the debris that we can. All right, friends, let's get ready to install our brand new front ABS sensor. Let's take this and put it in place through the back side of the backing plate into the wheel bearing. Just try to get the right angle without twisting it too much and breaking it. There we are. Press that down. At this point, you want to make sure you press it into the wheel bearing as far as possible. Now that we have the sensor in there, let's continue on installing our mounting bolt using our 3 16 Allen head socket. We'll start that in by hand, snug it up, and then torque it to 115 inch pounds. Now we can start resecuring our ABS wire. We'll press that in. Follow it along the upper control arm. Put that into position. Continue on to the frame mount. Reconnect the ABS sensor and put that into position along top of the strut tower. Just going to get it lined up with the hole and slide it down into position. Double check to make sure it's completely secured. Now the next thing we're going to do is clean down the mating surface of our wheel bearing hub surface here and the backside of our braking rotor, the areas that they mate together. We'll use a small sanding disc for this. Now we'll continue on with a wire brush, try to get in between the studs and the center of the hub. Use a little anti-seize. Next, we'll install our brake rotor and one of our lug nuts to hold it in place. Now we can continue on to installing our caliper bracket. We'll get that in position, start in each of our mounting bolts and snug them up. Now we can torque each of these caliper bracket bolts to 129 foot pounds. Now we can install our brake pads. When you're installing the pads, you want to make sure you put them in the original position. Typically, if you were to look at the backing, on one of the pads, you're going to see that you have two circles. And on the other side, you'll find the area that you have the three ears. The two circles are the inboard side. That's where the caliper pistons go. And then the three ears are along the outboard aspect of that caliper. Let's get these pads into position. that one in. Let's do the same to the outer pad. Now let's prepare our caliper for installation. I like to use a little bit of high temperature caliper grease along each of the two pistons and then along the inboard side of each of the three outboard ears. That'll help with vibration dampening and noise reduction. Now we can slide this into place. Make sure you don't damage your caliper slider boots as you do so. Now it's a good idea to go ahead and lubricate those slider pins. Slide each of them into position, snug them up. Now that we have those snug, let's torque these to 80 foot pounds. Continue on to removing your lug nut. Now we can reinstall our wheel. Install all six of our 22 millimeter lug nuts and snug them up.
Now that I have them snug, we'll get the wheel back on the ground and we'll torque these in a crisscross manner. Reinstall your protective lug nut covers. Okay friends, we fully installed our ABS sensor. At this point, hop in the passenger compartment and pump up that brake pedal till it's nice and firm. Take your vehicle for a road test and make sure you don't have an ABS light. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.